Oh boy, you guys better get ready. Today we're going to be playing the game of horns. We're going to be blowing that horn real freaking hard at the end of the day. We're going to be killing everybody in the process. So if you guys don't know, this is Iron Marines. We are uh, back at it again with uh, the... I forget which mission is the third mi the third mission I believe, and the basic idea behind the mission is that you have to protect this uh, this Gar King. All right, he's pretty strong. He's actually a pretty decent character to have in your game, but if at any point he dies, you lose. So you got to protect him. So use him as a tank, but every time he gets even remotely close to dying, like 50% of his health or whatever, just send him back to safety, dude. He also eats some pork chops every once in a while, so uh, it uh, makes him heal up really nice and quickly, and uh, that can save your butt in a lot of situations. So the weird thing about this level is actually that the ice makes you move so gosh darn slow. I mean, look at the Marines. Um, you can see the or the Rangers. You can see like the the drastic difference in speed. So starting off, what we want to do is we're actually going to be pushing uh, pretty hard right from the get-go here. So we're going to drop Blue Dragon over here on this Flamer guy right here. We're going to just insta-kill him. And we're going to try and kill everybody else while letting our Flamethrower guy kill all the wolves. Now the Gar King is sadly being killed by all the wolves right now, but that's okay. Again, he's not even remotely close to dying. Even at half health, he's got a lot of health left. So... Uh, let's get going here, man. Eat my pork chop, baby. There we go. Uh, just keep everybody alive. These these people are fairly important. The only person that can die is your hero. If your hero dies, whatevs. It doesn't really matter. So use them as a tank in a lot of situations. I've got Blue Dragon. So this is, I believe she's level 7 right now. So, uh, she's pretty strong. But she could be better, and I, I know that I'm using a paid hero today. Honestly, if I was using Paragon, this would probably be easier. Paragon's still my favorite hero, by far. Uh, I believe that uh, running in with everybody and just killing everybody really quickly and then healing them all up very quickly just ends up working fantastically. So, uh, what we gotta do here, though, is every time you see a portal down there, do your best to try and kill it, dude. If you don't, it's kinda gonna suck to have to kill all these guys that come out of it. Uh, we got, like, six more guys coming out. It's just, it does. It blows. So, uh, again, we're going to be using the Gar tank, the Gar guy as sort of a tanky, tanky thing. We're going to put our hero just behind them, uh, let our flamethrower just sort of flame the crap out of them. Um, our rangers are kind of in the top over there. We can change them into engineers if we want to, because engineers take down buildings pretty quickly. It's weird, because engineers fix buildings, but also kill buildings very quickly, so it's kind of, kind of weird, admittedly. Uh, and then whenever possible, just take over this base. So this is going to be the first base that you have. And believe it or not, it's actually, it, it's pretty important for, for now. But later on, if it does get taken, it actually doesn't matter all that much. So I think, if I remember correctly, uh, this is post-commentary, by the way, I do lose this base at some point, but we're always just, we're moving forward. It's all about moving forward in this level. Uh, one of the weirdest things about this one is the fact that it actually can be beneficial to just say screw it and wait so watch this what we're gonna do we're gonna set our rangers up here if any of those vortexes coming on and we're gonna we're gonna take it down so we're gonna grab some ethereum up in the top here with our rangers uh we're gonna kill all, all these things that are popping in here man get rid of those things you do have to target them that's the weird thing about this game they don't just say oh your your people are near it well okay well let it get shot no you have to target which is kind of sad actually so uh these guys killed my, my little Gar Hut over here. It's kind of annoying, I know. We're just going to buy machine guns for now because they're some of the tankiest ones. Even though they're not that strong, they're tanky and they're cheap. So 100 for 150 right there, that's not that bad of a price. Uh, for sure, what I'd like to always buy is the healing process, but at least a 1-1 one, one turret over here is going to be beneficial because it heals and it does a pretty good amount of stopping power and damage to your guys. So because I have pretty much all of the gears over here, you're going to pretty much need that to, uh, to beat these on Impossible. But because I have all the gears, um, whenever one of my mechas die, they pop out the pilot, and the pilot can just run around a little bit, and eventually the mecha suit will be reborn. So, uh, that's pretty nice, actually. Not gonna lie. What I'm doing right now, though, is I'm just defending. I'm not doing anything special here, guys. I'm just chilling like a non-villain in this situation. Hopefully. I mean, I, it depends on who you're looking at, man. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm space invading... Uh, you know, all of these people's planet over here, Aurora Borealis, and I'm just killing all the peeps, kind of. Well, they're also, there's, no, wait, hold on, hold on, if I remember correctly, I didn't read all the lore up on this thing, but the Gar people are the people who live here, you know, the, the, he's the king, and you've got, uh, all the huts that you build are the little Gar, the Garlings, I don't know what they're called, but the Garlings, we're gonna call them that. 
The names in this one have been very off the frickin' wall. I have not even tried to memorize them. I will never memorize them. So, please, please forgive me. Anyways, while waiting for Ethereum, you're going to notice we're getting about four per second or so right now. Uh, try and get your HUD up, at least up to third tier. If you want to, you can use the bottom HUD as well, but I'm just going to completely ignore that thing. Because the wolves and the other people are just going to come in and pfft, take it down. So, on Impossible, it's not going to help you out. On lower levels, it will probably help you out quite drastically. So, uh, you know, I'd, I would recommend actually getting that upgraded. Here we go. Last level is official. It's time to go. So let's get set up. Um, right now, what we're going to do is... Uh, uh, it's, the nice thing about this area is that right now, we're safe. Nothing's going to come out. Nothing's going to happen. We can just chill here and do nothing for a while. But as soon as you explode the wall, the game changes. It changes a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and run in here with Blue Dragon. Uh, you know, if you want to use your hero, you can. If you want to use... Um, uh, you know, I don't know, channelers or something like that. Just have them run through here. That's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. But basically what you gotta do is you gotta grab the extra unit. So I've got my fourth unit over here. We're gonna pop this girl back on action down here. And we're gonna go grab the fifth unit as soon as we possibly can as well. She's pretty decently tanky over here. So she can survive for a few seconds while I'm slurping up this thing. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, try and run all the way to the very back over here with our, our guys. We don't care if they die. Just screw it. Just let them die. I don't really care. I should be spending my Ethereum, but I'm doing a bad job at it. We're gonna try and break down this wall if we can. I don't care if it doesn't get broken down, but we're gonna try our best. Uh, and what we're going to do in the meantime is we have to defend. So the best way to defend, my friends, is, surprisingly, with the mecha units. One of each. One flame starter, one, uh, one shell storm, and boom, you've pretty much got it covered. Uh, eventually, it's not too bad to have a couple extra shell storms in here because you're going to have um, a lot of these flying units coming in. So that, that sucks when that happens. So here we go. Uh... Ethereum is coming in pretty fast, though, but look at the amount of units that are coming in here, man. Like, we, we alerted a lot of them, and I did that on purpose. I ran them all the way in there, so I don't know exactly how Iron Marines is is coded and how enemies come at you and whatnot, but it seems like it's fairly consistent that there's always going to be enemies, enemies coming at you. But, if you kind of just... But every once in a while, every, like, certain place you get to, you hit, like, a, an enemy release point, where if you get to this area you release an extra set of enemies. So not only do you have to deal with the extra sets of enemies um, slowly coming out against you, you're going to have to deal with this thing. So instead, what I like to do is I alert the fact uh, that all those extra enemies are coming out. I kind of just get rid of them, uh, let them just come out in, into existence, and then I kill them with my units. Uh, you know, and I, I use it as a defensive approach here. I've got all my units kind of over here. We, we got... Uh, uh, Three mecha suits. We've got one tanky guy kind of in the front over here. We've got two shell storms sort of in the back. We're still using our hero over here. And we've got an extra set of snipers in the back here. Hopefully do some extra damage. <coughs> it's getting a little crazy right now, so we're going to back up a little bit. Seems like, uh, ooh, I hope he doesn't die there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Run, 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 run. Is he going to die? Two of my shell storms just died. But it looks like they might survive. And boom, we get the shell storm back in action. So this is exactly what you want to see, guys. Uh, you know, we want... It's going to be a little bit rough to defend here, but that's because we just alerted every unit in existence to come at us. So come at me, bro. Come at me. Both of our shell storms are back and ready to go. And we're going to pop this guy down to heal up. So uh, keep in mind that whenever you have any sort of base whatsoever, it's really nice to get a 1-1 one, one base upgraded. It's 50 uh, Ethereum for each of the upgrades, but you get an extra big chunk of range, and the shield is amazing. Amazing range. So it is. It's really nice, guys. Uh, I highly recommend it. So, anyways, you might be noticing that I actually have four mechas right now. I have a Firestorm in the bottom there. That is correct, Amundo. Um, the reason why I have that is the wolves. All right. And what you can do is you can just say screw it and just kind of go, go for broke here if you want to, and leave everybody behind. But what I want to do instead is I'm just going to be I'm going to I'm going to do a full out push now. I did my original um, alert or whatever of of all the the people, and now I just have to push. No matter what, I have to keep on pushing until I take that base. This is important. It's going to be a lot of micro. Don't lose any units here. If you do lose a unit, make sure you replenish them very very quickly. There's some guys coming at me and whatever. I don't care. Uh, but what you want to do is you usually want to use one of these green mechas up in the front. He's very, very tanky. Put two shell storms behind it. If you want, you can put a third uh, shell storm or use another fire starter. 
Um, either which way, make sure you take down these units as fast as you possibly can. If you want to help tank just a little bit, if you got the extra Ethereum, buy one of these buildings and buy one of the characters inside. Now, the Rangers are not super duper important. I try and keep them alive, but if they do end up dying, I just build something else instead. You know, I can buy another mecha, or I can buy uh, uh, some channelers or something, you know? So here we go. My Shellstorm is pushing up to the front there. I'm going to change him into a tanky unit while he's going to just survive here for a second. Hopefully he does. If not, what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, you know, hope that the pilot inside is going to stay alive. So I drop my hero back in action. Uh, another mecha is going to push over here. We got one last guy here, and the Gar King is coming through right now. So we're going to move our hero back over to protect the Gar King. Now everybody is just overflowing me in the back over here. We're going to hope that we can survive for just a few more seconds. All right. It's getting a little spicy right now. But we don't care about that base as much anymore. It means we lose all of our Ethereum, so we can't build anything else. But as long as we keep every unit alive, we won't need any more. So I don't know what the heck those Rangers were doing. But I just sold them, and I decided to rebuy another Flame Starter to keep myself alive over here. So we're going to buy another Machine Gun Turret to stay alive. Uh, hopefully this works out. But again, all of our mechas are over here. we got the Gar King and our Hero. This is six total units. And with six units, you can take down a lot of stuff. Now the mechas are slow, which sucks. But they are strong, which is awesome. So combine those two things together, and you get a pretty awesome team right here. So again, we're just using our Ethereum to just defend as long as we possibly can over there. Uh, you know, I want I want to make sure I get at least 150 Ethereum by the time we start this uh, little battle over here. More units are coming out against us, so uh, try do your best to take down any of the portals that come in here. If you get if you destroy the portals, there's not going to be that many units coming out against you, and then you can take it down just a little bit faster. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to town on this thing. I do have to take over this base, though. Uh, if you try and push without taking over this base, you can run into a little bit more issues. So I'd rather take over this base and just use it as a defensive post for myself. Uh, but if you go back over and look at the left side, again, it's just like, we're, we're basically dead at this point. Like, do we try and defend? Do we not try and defend? It's up, for, it's up in arms here, guys. Whatever you feel like doing. Um, if you don't defend, you're going to have more wolves coming at you from behind here, which isn't horrible. The wolves usually aren't that bad, you know? Uh, but here we go. We take over the base. All right, so now we're making extra Ethereum. We have a possible 300 total Ethereum that we can have. But again, what we're doing is we're pushing, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We use our hero to try and take down this uh, wall right here. All we have to do is get to that horn. That's it. So let's get inside and get our hero into that horn action right there. Now what we're going to do, though, is we're going to activate again those big chunks of units coming out against us. Once we take this down, they're just going to go. All, they're going to be all over us. So what we're going to do is we're going to defend. We're going to use two machine gun turrets. We're going to get our, our thing up to 1-1. One, one. So again, we have shields on top of these guys. And we're going to try and push uh, as far forward as we possibly can. Sadly, my hero dies. So now I'm going to kind of like come back just a little bit. I'm going to come back a little bit. Uh, and we're going to defend for a second while everybody's sort of attacking us. It's okay. No big deal. Sucks a little bit. Uh, we want to push forward still. But you can tell our, our left side of base is gone right now. So all we can do is do our best <coughs> Excuse me, to defend our home base. So as soon as my turret's about to die, I get an extra bonus shield right here. I buy the next level shield, and that takes care of all the uh, takes care of the machine gunners. All right, so uh, hero dies again. Yes, poor poor micro from Chris over here. He sucks it up. Uh, units are coming us from at us from every direction, but it's okay, guys. All we have to do is again just push forward, take down those rocks, and push the Gar King forward. And we're just about ready to defend. All right, just about everybody's gone that we need to have dead, be dead. All right, little hero buddy, let's do this. <clears throat> so big chunky units here, um, but we're ready. Well, again, all we have to do is defend the Gar King while we push. So even though the mechas are slow, what you want to do is you want to have like one uh, sort of stop at a time to ha hopefully attack or at least get inside the base here and then just have them all just tank all the units. Um, kill all the units, and hopefully win. Now, we don't even care about that base. It's gone. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Take down these rocks. All right, go, go, go. Take down the rocks. If you got any abilities, use them up if you want to. Use your drop turret. Drop a drop turret on that thing. You do have to take down more than one, though, to actually get inside with the Gar King. Um, or actually, no, maybe you don't. Uh, then as soon as you get that, Gar King walks in and blows the big fat horn, and Mama's cooking some dinner at home. All right. There we go, guys. That's how you do it on Impossible. Uh, it may seem like it was a little bit hectic, and that's because it was. It was quite hectic, but we did it in less than 15 minutes, which is a pretty solid amount of time, in my opinion. 
And look at all these guys coming out. They're still like, almost dead, too. That's the hilarious part. If you enjoyed, subscribe and have a super duper delicious day.